created a quick tutorial for you guys on how to use Google Keep and Google Calendar. So let's get started. To access either app from a computer, sign into your Google account and then choose the app from the drop down menu. To create a new note or list, simply click the checkbox icon and give your list a title. Then begin adding your items. So here I'm creating my morning routines list. Once I have all of my items, I can choose from several options. The first one is receiving notifications. And if this is a list like routines that you want to be reminded to do, you can schedule your notifications for daily, weekly, etc. You can choose to add a collaborator to your list, which would be really useful for something like a grocery list. That way everyone in the house can add items when they run out. The next option is choosing a color. When you have multiple notes on the screen, color coding can make finding your notes a lot quicker. And you can also add an image to the note if you need it. The next option you have is whether or not to pin the list. And since I only have one note on the screen, it's not really obvious why this tool is useful. But if I had numerous notes open, I could pin the most important ones and they would always display at the top of the screen. The final tool is used after you've completed all the items on your checklist. You can simply delete the list or uncheck all the boxes and repeat it again at a later time. All right, let's look at how to use Google Keep on a smartphone. Using Google Keep on a smartphone is the same process as on a desktop. I find this app is really useful for keeping up with homework assignments if smartphones are allowed in your school. You can create a note titled with each subject, then open the note in class and either type the assignment, take a picture of it, dictate a voice note, which is saved as a transcription and the original voice recording, or you can write with your finger as a drawing. So you have multiple options for how to take down that important information. And once I have all the information for that class homework assignment or project, I'm gonna get the same options that I did on the desktop, whether I wanna have a collaborator or have a color label to help me out. And now you can see with multiple items on the screen why the colors are kinda of helpful. Okay, our next app is Google Calendar, and you would access it the same way as you did Google Keep. So you want to start by adding a new event, and you would click on the desired date and time. And if you double click, you're going to get a lot more options to choose from. So you first want to check that you have the correct day and time. And for items that are date specific, but not time specific, like somebody's birthday, you just click the all day option. If the item repeats, like a weekly dance class or a therapy appointment, you can customize the repeat so you don't have to enter it over and over again. And on this repeat, you can see I'm going to give it an end date, so if the activity only goes for a few months, you can have it repeated until you decide you don't need it anymore. If you know a location, you can add that here. Then you can choose when and if you need notifications. In this bottom section, you can add any additional information you might need for the event here. And finally, over here on this section, if you want someone else to know about the event, you can put them as a guest. And then when you save it, you'll be given the option to email them an invitation. If you choose to repeat an event in your calendar, when you try to edit the item, you'll always be asked which item the edit applies to. And finally, if you want to share your calendar with family members or coworkers, you can, and access to that information would be here. All right, guys, that's everything uh, I have for you today about Google Keep and Google Calendar. I hope it was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Mm -hmm.